Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting trigonometric proof from International Math Olympiad. So the question is, prove that for every natural number n, and for every real number, x is equal to k pi over two to the power of t, where t is zero, one, all the way up to n, and k, any integer. One over sine two x plus one over sine four x plus, all the way up to one over sine two to the power of n x, is equal to cotangent x minus cotangent 2 to the power of n x. Okay, just to simplify everything, let's first talk about when your n is equal to just a 1, right? Okay, we can start from that. So if your n is now equal to 1, okay, then your left-hand side is only going to be 1 over sine 2x. It should be just equal to cotangent x now minus cotangent of only 2x. Okay, then we already have this formula for your cotangent x, right? So cotangent x is just equal to cosine x over sine x, which means cotangent 2x. This is going to be cosine of 2x over now sine of 2x. So that's why what we need to work on has to be just your right hand side should be then equal to um, cosine x over sine x. And then minus cosine of 2x over sine 2x. This is what we have for your right hand side. From this, what we'll be doing is we need to focus on now, say, the sine of 2x. We have a double angle formula for the sine uh, part. So using identity, the double angle formula, then we have sine of 2x is just equal to 2 times sine x cosine x. Okay, so maybe we using this. Maybe using this, let's focus on this cotangent x, which is cosine x over sine x. Okay. So your cotangent x is cosine of x over sine x. Okay, I'll be multiplying cosine x over cosine of x to this. So multiply cosine of x over cosine of x. This is then going to be equal to cosine square of x now over sine x times cosine x. If you now multiply 2 over 2 to it, then what we'll be having is now 2 times cosine square x. Now over 2 times sine x cosine x, right? We already talked about this. 2 times sine x cosine x was sine of 2x. So that is why now your cotangent x part, right? Cotangent x or cosine x over sine x is really the same as 2 times cosine square x over sine 2x. So that's why what you will be working on is now 2 times cosine square x, okay, now over sine 2x minus cosine of 2x over sine of 2x. Now we can combine those two fractions into one fraction because now we have the common denominator. So if you go ahead and do this, then this will be now 2 cosine square x minus cosine of 2x over sine of 2x. This is what we have so far. Okay, so what we are working on is, once again, 2 times cosine square x minus cosine of 2x over is sine of 2x. Okay, this has to be just equal to 1 over sine 2x. We can double check by focusing on your numerator part. So we have, for example, cosine 2x. We have a double angle formula for your cosine, right? So cosine 2x is either cosine square x minus sine square x or 2 times cosine square x minus 1. We'll be using this, right? Okay, so if you're using this, then your numerator. Your numerator is now 2 times cosine square x, and then minus this whole thing. 
2 cosine square x now minus 1. So that's why it canceled out. It is just equal to 1. So using this, we can talk about the left hand side, right? So the left hand side of the equation that we need to prove is now 1 over sine 2x. Now plus 1 over sine 4x plus all the way up to uh, 1 over sine 2 to the power of n x. So based on all these works that we actually did, this one is then going to be equal to cotangent x minus cotangent 2x. Okay, then this one should be then equal to cotangent of 2x minus cotangent of 4x. Which means this one is then going to be equal to cotangent of, say, 2 to the power of n minus 1, x, okay, minus cotangent 2 to the power of n of x. Okay, then we can easily see how those terms are canceled out. Canceled out should be canceled out, and then this one should be canceled out too. So this should be now equal to cotangent x minus cotangent of 2 to the power of n, x. So we just complete the proof. Okay, so pretty interesting trigonometric proof from International Math Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.